right, um, hopefully our last video, unless I want to break this last two topics up into two separate videos that are very short, we have one more unit circle um, example here, and I had to modify it. For some reason, it reprinted 30 degrees. So anyhow, uh, in your notes, you can uh, scratch that 30 degrees in this last one. It is a 60 degree triangle that we're working with from the unit circle, from the origin. So I've redrawn that out for us. So you'll notice here, we've got our hypotenuse is still one, but in this case, remember that same 30, 60, 90 triangle here, um, the angle 60 has an, an opposing side squared of three over two, the 30 degree side uh, angle has a side corresponding to one half. So I'm just redrawing that because we know that if I drop that straight down, I go, hang on, I go over X, I go up Y, then that's a 90 degree corner that puts this at 30 degrees here, and therefore the corresponding sides one half and square root of three over two. So if we come over here to the what do we know, well I know that sine of 60 is gonna be the square root of three over two over one, or just the square root of three over two. I know that cosine 60, that's an adjacent side, is one half over one, or just one half. Now, when we go to give the coordinates here, the, the point um, at that location, what we have is the cosine, remember cosine is the x, so that's one half, comma, and then square root three over two. Very similar to our 30 degree triangle. 30 degree triangle, we had the same numbers, we just flip flop positions for x and y. Right, so um, there we have sine of 60, we already determined these, so sine was uh, square root of three over two, cosine is one half, tangent, therefore, if you look at these also, we haven't talked about this, but um, it's opposite over adjacent. Well, opposite is y over adjacent, which is x. Well, you know, we, we did determine that uh, x is just uh, cosine, why would I do this? Y is just sine, therefore if tangent is equal to the opposite, which is Y over X, tangent is just taking the value of sine over the value of cosine another way to look at this. Tangent is just sine over cosine. Um, and that's all the further I'll get into that, but tangent is, I'm just going to really shorthand that, sine over cosine. Well, sine is square root 3 over 2 over cosine, which is a half. And again, remember, we can take the division of a fraction as the multiplication of its reciprocal. So over here, square root 3 over 2, instead of dividing by 1 half, we multiply by that reciprocal, so two is reduce, and we just simply get the square root of three. So that is your one and only answer for that. Um, yep, so um, I was gonna break this into two videos. Let's just keep going because it's just notes. Um, in here it says below quadrant one unit circle, fill in what you know. Uh, well, what we know is going to be those coordinates. Um, so, and again, we're just going to mark 30, 25, and 60. So that's the, the angles that are very unique and important to us. So at the 30 degree mark, remember that that trailing down, our options were square root 3 over 2 or a half. Um, so our x and our y, one is one, one's the other. Well, if you look at that angle and that side length, that larger one is the square root 3 over two, and then that leaves us with one half as our other option. When we get to the 45 triangle, what we have is square root two over two, square root three over two. That's the easy one. They're both the same value. We'll have that memorized, it's pretty quick. The 60 degree is practically even easier because when we drop this guy down, we know that again, our two options are one half or the square root of three over two. And looking at the x 
side length here, that's much shorter than the Y. So the shorter value is one half in this case. So that's what we got. So uh, quadrant is very important. It says you need to have this memorized. Uh, in the unit circle, radius is one. So I'll just draw one of those in. But by doing that, you need to have all of those values memorized. Now, let's go even further and say, you know, at zero degrees, we have the values one comma zero. And at 90 degrees, we have zero comma one. That is officially the first quadrant if you hit all five of those angles. So zero, and then 30, 45, 60, and then last uh, 90 degrees. Um, gosh, you know, let's, let's keep going and fill in a couple more of these. I'm gonna change my color of this. And I'm gonna say here, that is the next one. That is going to be another 30 degrees in. So that's going to have a reference angle right here. It's going to be 60 degrees. So if that's my reference angle is 60 degrees, my x, y coordinates are going to correspond to the same thing. Except, see if I drop this all the way down. I see that that reference, that's the half, and that's the square root of 3 over 2 reference, right? So in terms of that, I have 1 half, and I have square root 3 over 2. But I have to be careful. My x value, I went backwards in the xy plane. I had to go backwards to get there. So that means that I need a negative 1 half. The y is still positive. I still went above the x-axis. All right, so then, um, for example, uh, I don't know, I'll change it again. Um, let's go to the 45 degree mark. Again, negative in the x, square root 2 over 2. The y is positive. Okay, and we can just keep going through. Let's do the last one here. That might be kind of bright, but that there is just like this one, except again, we have a negative root three over two, and then a half. Again, you gotta always check those in terms of like which side should be longer. Well, if I try to plot the numbers, do they really look like they make sense? So um, we can keep going around the circle. Let's do one more random example here. Um, let's go to down here. So this one here, again, reference angle is 60 degrees. And if we look at that reference angle, we've got, um, I mean, that's not the best, um, best example because if you look, that should have lined up with this set of red lines. But anyways, let's pretend like it did. Um, that just means that this side length here would be one half and then this one here is root three over two. So what that does though is just, again, the, the 60 degrees is still 60 degrees, but when we do that in the fourth quadrant, our X term is still one half, but our Y term is the negative square root three over two. So that's all I've got in 2-3, um, generally understanding not just what are the numbers of the unit circle, but how we get those. And then um, once we get them and understand how we found the values, then, then you start having to memorize it. So we'll get those memorized and work on 2-4 next.